In this video, we're going to configure a newer feature in Firepower 6.3 called External Lookups. What an external lookup does is it basically takes a field from a connection event or some other event, like a source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port domain, and queries it against a URL such as Splunk or Talos and pulls up report information based off of that. So if we go into connection events, you can see some pre-built ones here, such as you know, recorded future IP, and it pre-fills it with the IP address that was in that connection event. So you can see a nice little report on it and looks pretty cool. So there's a lot of pre-built ones in there, but what if you wanted to use it for something like Splunk or some internal server? So let me go ahead and pull up Splunk really quickly. Once I've signed into Splunk, I'm going to go ahead and go to Search and Reporting and just search for a random IP that's in my environment. I'm going to go ahead and use the Active Directory server IP address, which is 10.1.100.40, since it's not sending logs directly to Splunk, but it should return some logs, which we can see here we're getting things from like the ASA or Linacode, um, FTD, NATed information. We can see it in the syslog events down here. But that's not the important part. I'm looking at the URL, which we can see that in the URL, that information, that IP address was uh, showing. So I'm just copying and pasting here. As you can see, I didn't include all the SID and other information. I'm just putting, ending at the URL, and it was able to pull that query again. So based on that, I know that if I fill in you know, use the beginning part of that URL and fill in the IP address as shown here, it should actually do a query for that IP address in Splunk. So I'm going to create a new external lookup inside of Firepower, essentially using that format. So to do so, I would navigate to Analysis, Advance, and then Contextual Cross Launch. From here, we can see the existing external lookups, but to configure a new one, we'll click on New Cross Launch and name it something that we think would make sense. Oops, went ahead and copied it in the wrong place. So I'm going to go ahead and name this Splunk Source IP and put the URL template in, and I'll just click on Source IP and click Save. In that field, it's going to populate the source IP of whatever event that I choose. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do another cross launch, and this one's going to be for destination IP instead. So I'm going to name it Source Destination, uh, Splunk Destination IP, same URL template. As you can see here, it looks exactly the same. I'll click Save. And last, I'll just go ahead and add a domain one as well. So I'll just call this Splunk Domain. And same thing, I'll just do a search with domain at the end. To test this out, we're going to go to Analysis, Connection, and Events. And we'll pull up the latest connection events. So I'm just going to click on this white space in a, on a connection event. And as you can see here, I, can see I have one for source IP. And again, it does that search based on that source IP address. Let's go back. And this time we'll do one for destination IP address. Yep, we see it right there. Perfect. And let's do one for Splunk domain. And once again, it pulled it right up. And that's how easy it is to configure an external lookup in Firepower. I just kind of wanted to go over that really quickly for you so you could see that demo. Thank you so much for watching.